I want to have a bit of a look over an ETF that I hold within my portfolio that I've got that I think might give some market beating returns over the next few years. That ETF is the iShares Automation and Robotics ETF. Robots basically, and robots are gonna take over the world. Now this is the time to take advantage of market volatility. What we've seen over the last few weeks and months in the market might look painful on the outset. My portfolio seems to lose hundreds of pounds every day. That's probably a lesson there about not looking at your portfolio every day, but that's easier said than done. But I think it's an opportunity at the moment to take advantage of some significant bargains, some dips in the market, and that's what it's all about. In my view, investors who use these dips to find some bargains are those who will probably have some of the best returns in the long run. So with that in mind, I wanna use this video to have a look over what I think could be a pretty exciting opportunity. So the iShares or Automation and Robotics ETF is a fund that looks to track the index of a bunch of companies that are generating significant revenue from specific sectors associated with the development of automation and robotics. But what does that mean and is it going to make us some decent wedge? So the iShares Automation and Robotics ETF, ticker symbol is RBOT on Trading 2 and 2, but it's RBTX on Free Trade. And there's a link for that below to sign up if you want to use that link. And if you do use it before the 14th of December 2021, you will get a guaranteed minimum share of £10 in value. If it's after that time, you will still get a free share, but there's no guarantees on the value. But it could be anything up to £200. So this ETF is made up of some pretty cool companies. These are literally companies that make robots. Autobots. Robots are used a lot more in industry than you probably think. They're used in manufacturing, they're used in healthcare, and even space travel, amongst many, many other things. They're probably best known for the use of science fiction movies. I did not murder him! Hasta la vista, baby. I found though, as time moves on more and more, actually science fiction is becoming real as technology actually advances. So just imagine showing this world that we live in right now to someone from just a hundred years ago. Basically we live in a world where all human knowledge can be found in everyone's pockets, satellites orbit the earth and we're on the cusp of going to Mars, not to mention these bloody things are everywhere. So this ETF is looking to take advantage of this area. So if you look at the top 10 holdings here, right at the top, we've got Advanced Micro Devices or AMD. These guys develop the processes that make this whole world of robotics operate. There's NVIDIA, which develops graphic processes. There's Zilinx, if you, that's how you pronounce it, in third place, which is a semiconductor company. We've got Laser Tech Corp. And with a name like that, there is no way on earth that they don't have an evil CEO with some sort of plan to blow the world with robot lasers. They make inspection and measurement equipment. Oh, no, it's nowhere near as fun, to be honest. Plus many others that you won't even recognize. And that's the point with this one. I don't know a lot about semiconductors, I'm afraid, or in fact, how to make one of these, quite frankly, frightening things. <laughs> However, I do think that these businesses that make this sort of stuff are taking over the world. And I do think that over the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, the world will start to become unrecognizable from the world we even see today, thanks to these companies. So I want a slice of that pie. Look at the last 10 years alone. 10 years ago, the M6 was full of two liter diesel Mondeos. It's now full of self-driving electric cars. I really don't think we give enough appreciation to how mental that is. Tesla make cars now where you can get in them, type in a postcode 200 miles away, and they get off to Kip and rock up two hours later feeling refreshed. It's not recommended, by the way. And whilst it's not recommended, it is unfortunately what some people have done. Listen, it's more efficient. It's better for the environment. It reduces crashes. It makes the roads run smoother because it eliminates traffic as a result of bad habits and bad driving. The world of driving has never changed so much since its inception that it has in the last 10 years. And it is the result of robots because that's what a Tesla is. It's what all autonomous EV cars are. They're basically robots. So if that example alone doesn't convince you that robots might have a future, then I'm afraid nothing will. 
In just 10 years, the shift has been unbelievable and it will only speed up, not slow down. Now I have a small position into this ETF, but I'm planning on increasing that as much as I can, as soon as I can. However, please do your own research if you are looking to invest into this ETF. We've looked then at some of the holdings and my view on the future. Let's have a look at some of the numbers because they're just as important. So RBOT is currently trading at $13.83 a share and just like everything else, it's down when you look at the one month and three month view. But interestingly, it's only down 2.9% on the one month and only 1.9% on the three month view. So it's held up actually relatively well in pretty bearish climate actually. As with any investment, scan out a bit and the picture gets much prettier. And year to date returns are 18%, the one year returns are 22% and the five year cumulative returns is 180% on this ETF. That is an average annualized return of 22% per year, every year for five years straight now. So now I take that for the rest of my life, if I could to be honest with you. 22% a year is going to make you a very rich person in not very long at all. So there's loads of other numbers that you can look at on the fact sheet. I'll put a link for it below. But for me, the next important one is the cost and what are the fees? So this ETF has got a charge of 0.4% per annum. So per year, so you don't get anything for free. So please bear this in mind with your calculations. There is a fee with this ETF. There are 131 holdings in this ETF. And remember, you will only ever get to see the top 10 as the rest are proprietary information. That's the IP that makes the ETF what it is. However, I don't know much about global robotics and automation companies, if I'm honest, and I am comfortable with that. So I'm happy to let someone else worry about that. What I care about are returns. And with this ETF, I have a good level of confidence of that. PE ratio of the fund is 38.32, so a bit of a high valuation. But given the sorts of companies that are in here, tech companies basically, I feel comfortable with that. And this is an accumulation fund. So any companies that pay dividends in here Will get their dividends reinvested at no extra cost or inconvenience to you it does have a relatively high risk profile so iShares have given it a six out of seven for risk and that is really down to the fact that it's a sector specific etf all the companies held within here are clearly interested in robotics and automation only so you only have a little bit of sector diversification but you definitely do have geographical diversification there are companies included from all over the world within here don't forget there is a link below to open a free trade account where you can invest into this etf under the ticket rbtx there's a trading two and two link too but i wouldn't hold your breath in terms of trying to get an account open with those guys god knows when they're going to sort that out to be honest so now if you like the idea of getting rich i have three steps right here that might just help you do exactly that